If you have ever needed to connect up a gaming console to a TV, a PC to a monitor, or a laptop to a projector, you have probably used an HDMI connector. High Definition Multimedia Interface, or HDMI for short, is an interface that is used to transmit audio and video data in an uncompressed or compressed form. The HDMI standard was designed to be the digital replacement from previous analog standards. Before we had the HDMI interface, audio and video transmission was done via analog standards like DVI and VGA. The introduction of the HDMI standard did two things. The first was obviously increasing performance by offering more bandwidth, high resolutions and increased color quality. But the second thing that HDMI did was consolidate the market for video transmission interfaces. But not all HDMI connectors are created equal. We have quite a few different versions of HDMI connectors floating around nowadays. So today we'll be looking at two of the more popular versions, the HDMI 1.4 standard and the HDMI 2.0 standard. This video will compare the performance and features of the two. Now we did do a previous video explaining how HDMI 2.0 has been officially discontinued. However, there are hundreds if not thousands of devices that are still using this HDMI 2.0 naming. So this video is for that. HDMI 1.4 was released in June of 2009 and it was the first HDMI connector to support 4K resolutions. HDMI 1.4 added support for 4096 by 2160 at 24 hertz and for 3840 by 2160 at 24, 25 and 30 hertz. For 1440p resolutions, it supported only at 60 hertz and finally for 1080p up to 120 hertz. It also was the first to support HDMI Ethernet channel or HEC for short, which allowed users to connect an HDMI connector for an Ethernet connection for up to 100 megabits per second. Nothing fast there. HDMI ARC was also game changing for the HDMI 1.4 standard. ARC stands for Audio Return Channel, and it was basically a protocol that offered two communication channels between devices over a single channel. Before HDMI ARC, you would have needed to have different cables for audio input and output. HDMI 1.4 also introduced other novel features like supporting 3D movies over HDMI cables, which was big back in 2009. In terms of color performance, HDMI 1.4 added support, additional support for new color spaces like SYCC 601, Adobe RGB, and Adobe YCC 601. Simply put, HDMI was able to transmit more color accurate pictures than previous versions. HDMI 1.4 also got two additional versions, which was HDMI 1.4a that came out a year after, and 1.4b that came out in 2011. It added two mandatory 3D formats for broadcast-based content, which was supposed to be added in the original HDMI 1.4 standard, and HDMI 1.4b came with some minor adjustments to the protocol. This brings us onto HDMI 2.0, which came out in 2013, and one of the main upgrades it brought over HDMI 1.4 was the massive increase in bandwidth. HDMI 1.4 could only do 10.2 gigabits per second, but HDMI 2.0 almost doubled that with 18 gigabits per second. This allowed HDMI to support even higher resolutions and higher frame rates. HDMI 2.0 could do 4K at 60 hertz, 1440p at 120 hertz, and 1080p at 240 hertz, which was basically double of what anything that HDMI 1.4 could do. In terms of pixel quality, HDMI 2.0 introduced support for 12-bit color. For those of you that aren't familiar with the term, here's a simple explanation. A 12-bit color display system has 4096 shaders for each of the red, green, and blue pixels, meaning support for 68 billion unique colors. HDMI 1.4, on the other hand, could only support 8-bit color system, or 16.7 million unique colors. HDMI 2.0 also got an upgrade in the audio quality department. HDMI 1.4 supported a maximum of eight channels at 768 kilohertz. HDMI 2.0, on the other hand, supported a maximum of 32 channels of 1536 kilohertz. This was a huge upgrade in the audio stream quality. But what made this update a huge hit amongst consumers was that 32 channel capability. It brought 
Adobe Atmos standard to entertainment systems at home and allowed users to set up 5.1 and 7.2 speaker systems in their home and truly enjoy 3D audio experiences in the comfort of their sofa. However, it wasn't until 2015 that HDMI got high dynamic range support. The HDMI 2.0a protocol added HDR support to the HDMI ecosystem. HDR had become a staple now for home entertainment systems, and nowadays almost every blockbuster movie or AAA game on either PC or console comes with HDR support. The addition of HDR support was well received with consumers. HDMI 2.0b shortly after added additional support for hybrid log gamma HDR. While HDR systems like HDR10 and Adobe Vision are designed for streaming movies or playing video games, HLG HDR was made to support broadcast cable and live TV. In retrospect, it hasn't been such a huge update since almost no live channel actually transmits this kind of content to really take advantage of it, but we'll see in the future. This is why it's important to know about the subtle differences and feature differences when buying a device with HDMI. Each version upgrade brought new features and increased performance, which could be very important to you. Watch our other video on the HDMI 2.1 standard to see how HDMI has changed all of this and potentially made it more confusing for new consumers. All of these versions can get a little bit confusing, but hopefully this video has helped you understand the differences a little bit better so that when you're buying your next device with an HDMI port, you know what to look out for and make sure that it suits your needs. If you've enjoyed this video and gained something out of it, then please smash that like button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with any future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.